hoping some of my meteorology friends or scientifically minded people can chime in and explain to me, like I'm a kitten, what in the Sam Hill's going on? You hear that? It will get louder. The theremin is a very sensitive instrument. It's very persnickety. And right now, it's picking up something, and I don't really know what. I mean, it's Friday. It could be anything. Maybe there's, I don't, I really don't know. And that's one of the frustrating, lovely charms of the theremin. It's like when they say, oh, it's a good day for flying. Not much turbulence today. Or, oh, great day to go catch some waves. Waves are perfect. I'm gonna go look up and see what the electromagnetic field, do we have any solar flares going on right now? Is there a geomagnetic storm? What is going on? Well, 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 it is. The electromagnetic field is a little wonky today. And this says, Sun News, super active AR4246 will depart soon. Well, not soon enough. Here's some screenshots of the current space weather predictions. I'm not sure what it all means, but maybe somebody who understands space weather and radio frequencies can explain to me why my theremin is acting like this. For context, the theremin worked fine yesterday. There was no interference coming through the speakers. I have not changed any of the setup. I have not moved any of the wires or the cables. Everything is exactly as it was yesterday. And it says, oh, ha ha. Solar flares not likely to affect people in Milwaukee. Well, except for poor little whiskey here that all, all I want to do is play the theremin. We'll be right back after this brief caterwauling interlude. Okay, let's see if it's gone away. It's still there. It's still there. Ah! Well, don't worry, folks. We have lots of other ways to employ our feline expressionistic viewpoints. When the theremin misbehaves like this, if we're hired for an event, we can fall back on opera.